Hi, and welcome to our five sun salutations. So this weekend, Tim, Max, and I are doing a virtual race. So we're doing a virtual run with the Castle Series, who do run, cycle, swims, triathlons, and she's got this new t-shirt, so it's very nice. So we're going to do a quad stretch in between each sun salutation. So we're going to go pretty quickly just so we can use this as a warm up. So let's get started. Standing tall mountain pose, inhale, lifting arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold, hands coming down to the floor. So bend the knees, inhale, come up halfway. So the legs might feel tight. So we're stepping into plank. So we can come to the knees if we'd like, or we can lower down. So all the way in a low plank, hugging the elbows to the side of the body, lengthen through the spine, the head. Inhale, lifting. Our chest up, either cobra or up dog, tops of the feet on the mat, really reaching forward and exhaling into down dog. So pushing our bottom up towards the sky, spreading our hands, and we're trying to push each heel individually into the mat just to warm up the backs of the legs. So the legs can be really tight, especially first thing in the morning. They can be really tight after sitting at a desk all day. So just trying to get the body moving and breathing. Okay, on your next inhale, look forward, stepping both feet to the front of the mat. Come up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, standing, reaching, arms overhead. And exhale, back to center. So, all we're trying to do is get moving. So if you feel like you're not keeping up, um, don't worry, just kind of move as you feel comfortable. So, I'm going to start off by keeping my knees together, lifting my right knee, take a hold of my ankle and pull the foot back behind. So I'm trying to keep both legs together, both knees together. The other hand is on the hip and I'm trying to push the hips forward. So we're trying to open up the front of the body. So we're trying to push the hips. So I'm hoping that we feel a bit of a stretch in that right thigh. Okay, let's try the other side. So hands on hips, you can lift up the Left knee, and now then reach down and take a hold of the ankle, bringing the knees back together and pushing the hips forward. So I'm hoping you feel a stretch in the front of the hips and a stretch in the left thigh, the left quad. Okay, and releasing. Okay, stepping back to the front, we're gonna to come to our second sun salutation. So stand tall mountain pose, inhale, lengthening arms, reaching overhead, exhale, forward fold. So hands come down to the floor, hips, knees. Inhale, come up halfway, flatten back, look forward. And now stepping back into plank, so we can hold our breath for a second. And then we're gonna lower down, so drop to the knees or full plank. So we're gonna come down, we can hover with the elbows tight to the side of the body, or we can come all the way down. Tops of the feet on the floor, inhale, lifting cobra or upward dog. So we're really trying to reach through the chest, exhaling, bending both knees, walking the feet forward a bit, coming into down dog. So pushing both hands on the floor, the head drop down, looking between the knees, so the head can shake out a bit. Breathing. Trying to shift the weight back towards the feet, bend the knees a little bit. So just the backs of the legs might feel really tight. On your next inhale, look forward, stepping both feet to the front. Coming up halfway, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, standing, arms back side, reaching upward. And exhale, back to center. So, lifting right knee, taking hold of the ankle, and bringing knees together. So you can just hold onto the wall or hold onto anything that, or you can just balance. So we need to really work on our balance to work our foot muscles, our ankles and calves. But now I'm trying to stretch out the front of the body. So pushing the hips forward, even trying to draw my right heel closer to my bum, but just do what feels comfortable. Okay, and then releasing, hands on hips and lifting up the left knee, taking a hold of the ankle, walking it down the foot to maybe both knees together, pushing hips forward. So standing tall, tight abdomen, a lot of things going on in yoga, but uh, you're getting a lot out of one pose. So breathing, being aware of how the body's feeling, maybe draw the heel closer to the bottom, and then release. Step to the front, 
Nine pose. Number three, inhale, lifting arms overhead. Full body stretch, reaching fingers upward. Exhale, releasing the hands down to the floor, bending the knees, let the head drop down. Inhale, come up halfway, look forward. And now stepping into plank, coming to full plank or knee plank. And then as we exhale, lowering down to our low plank, also called chaturanga. We're trying to make it, we're trying to hover, but if that doesn't feel good, then come all the way down. Tops of the heels and four. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Good, reaching forward to the chest, looking forward. And exhale, curling toes under, walking the feet forward a bit, coming to down dog, pushing the tailbone upward. So really trying to lengthen the tailbone, bending the knees a little bit. We can drive the heels down, just do what feels comfortable. You can bend the knees, driving the heels down. So everyone's built differently, everyone has different tightness, everyone has different, slightly different bone shapes, so we don't all look the same in these poses. Okay, coming forward, stepping both feet. Coming up to fingertips, or you can do the hands on the shins as well. Whatever gets your back nice and flat. Okay, now we come all the way down, bending the knees to a full forward fold. Inhale, lifting, reaching, up to standing. Exhale back, hands to center of chest. Okay, again. So it's good, we're doing a lot of balancing here. So, lifting up right knee, taking a hold of the right knee, walking the hand, hand down the foot. So here, try to pull the heel closer to the bottom, bringing the knees together. Okay. So, we can even lift the left arm up above, and we can even try to pull that right leg behind us, and reaching the left arm forward, so it's parallel to the mat. Try to keep, just try to pull the right heel towards the bottom. Try not to pull the knee out, like all the way out to the side. Try to keep it aligned as much as you feel comfortable, and then come back to center, other side. Okay. Lifting up left knee, taking a hold of the left, left ankle, walking it down to the top of the foot, bringing the knees together to start off, pushing the hips forward, standing tall. A lot of things to think about, but just being aware of how the body feels. Okay. Breathing, getting that stability, and thinking about all the great things that are happening to the feet, the ankles, really strengthening. Lifting the right arm overhead, and maybe pulling that left foot behind us, leveling that right arm parallel to the mat, but kicking into the hand. Try to feel something that back thigh, that quad, and slowly releasing. Well done. Stepping forward for a fourth sun salutation. Inhale, lifting arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Following our breathing, big breaths. Inhale, come up that way. And stepping into plank, holding the breath for a moment, and then exhale to lower. Inhale, reaching just forward, lifting into a cobra or up dog. Exhale, coming into our downward dog. Walking the feet forward a little bit. You can walk them even more forward if you'd like. You can walk them back, just so see what you'd like better in down dog. Okay, so try to keep the hands on the mat. So pushing the palms down, the knuckles, the fingers. So we're trying to use all the area of the hand. Bend the knees, try to shift the weight back and lift the tailbone, feeling the back muscles engage. On your next inhale, look forward and step both feet to the front, coming up halfway. And then we exhale, hands coming all the way down, bending knees. Inhale, standing to rise, opening up. The chest reaching the arms upward. Exhale back to center. Center of the chest. Okay. So one more balancing. Lifting right knee forward. This is the same pose. Again, bringing the knees together. Holding onto the top of the foot now. Bringing the knees together, pushing hips forward. So hopefully we feel comfortable with this. Again, you can always use something else to balance. Lifting left arm up. And now reaching the left arm forward and lifting up the right leg. So we're trying to kick into the hand, lifting, trying to lift maybe a little more, a 
like to imagine myself like those yoga teachers on Instagram, but I can see myself in the mirror and <laughs> it doesn't look like that at all. My body's still really tight from running. I do stretch, it's just, I don't do this all day. Okay, coming back. <sighs> Releasing, shaking it out. Okay, other side. Lifting left knee, taking a hold of that left ankle, bringing the knees together, finding that balance. So finding that balance first, so you don't need to quickly move into the pose. Push heels, push the hips forward, lifting the right arm overhead. Now, shifting the body, so reaching the right hand forward, parallel with the mat, and walking the hand down the left foot a little bit, and <laughs> trying to keep balanced, not falling over, kicking into the left hand, trying to lift the back leg a little more, and releasing, almost flawless. Don't need to be perfect. Okay, one more time. We're gonna be, we're gonna be really warmed up now. Inhale, lifting arms up overhead. Full body stretch, really enjoying it. Exhaling, forward fold, releasing them. Inhale, come up halfway, look forward. And then coming back to plank. So step those feet to the plank. Pushing the heels away, pushing the mat away. Tight abdomen, so we're strong here in this pose. And now we're gonna lower. Okay, inhale, reaching forward, cobra or up dog, depending on how the back or the arms feel. And exhaling into down dog. So both toes tucked under, bending the knees and pushing the bottom upward to down dog. So when you release the head in down dog, shaking the head out so the neck might feel tense, trying to shake any tension out of the bottom. Okay, you can always bend the knees and straighten. We can still pedal if the backs of the legs still need a bit of Stretching and warming up, you can do that. Okay, on your next inhale, look forward, stepping both feet to the front of the mat. Come up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees a little bit. Hands come fully onto the mat. Now inhale, standing, lifting. Arms out to the side, reaching, full body stretching in. Big inhale, exhale. Back to where we started. Okay, so I hope this helped you warm up or it just helped get the body moving, uh, anything. But try to get into the habit of doing any kind of yoga, stretching, anything, uh, each day for five to 10 minutes. Uh, make a big difference to um, just how you feel all over, how you feel if you are training for a race, um, just overall well-being. So thank you.